I've learned that swatching is an excellent way to see what kind of colors you have in your arsenal of art um, to start off in with when you're working on visual design. And what's great about doing um, episode one through to episode three so far is that I've actually swatched out all my colors well not all my colors but most of my colors in various combinations and it has given me some ideas as to um, how I can use color in creating my covers for my structures that I'm making so um, 75 different colors is a good, I would think, start to uh, in swatching. So the first thing again, swatching out your colors is an excellent way to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to create palettes and how we're going to do that is we're going to tint white clay. So we're going to make additives from any of these colors and there's 75 of them so I'm not going to do them all but I'm going to choose um, a few we'll do a, a monochromatic style of palette um, maybe we'll, we'll and we'll mix it up a little bit and then we'll maybe do a really vibrant um, fluorescent palette and um, and maybe just a little bit more subdued palette but you know we'll create the rules and make things up as they go we'll see what happens so what I did was I created three different palettes the first one is sort of um, a an orangey sherbet style palette and it's monochromatic so it starts with a dark um, orange and it goes all the way up to a very faint off-white with a little hint of an orange the next two color palettes I chose um, was another monochromatic pinky tone. Um, I chose a um, my fuchsia and I made different tints of fuchsias all the way up to a light, slight hint of fuchsia. Now I might in my next project introduce what I made here and add in some of the pink tints that I made from previous to see uh, what kinds of um, what kinds of uh, art I can create with that um, and then the last palette I chose was actually inspired by two cans my husband and I uh, we almost religiously watch because there's nothing else on at night but we watch <laughs> nature shows and I fell in love with the colors of two cans in one of the Amazon episodes and um, it's just all brights and we'll see what we can come up with with that. A lot of the ways I put color um, intensities together stem from my days as an optician. When we were making sunglass lenses, how we used to tint lenses would be would be in terms of percentages. So, and light transmission it was typically 85, 75, 50 percent, and then 10 percent. So that would be just a very light, 10% would be a very light tint. 50% would be um, sort of a medium tone. So in palette form, um, just bear that in mind. Um, this is my background. This is where I sort of get this idea from. When I started thinking about doing this um, video on color palettes, it came to mind that color palettes um, it's a personal choice you know what color combinations go with what and there's all these rules and if you if you google or google if you search on google um as to what are the color rules you'll just be bombarded with all kinds of different 
you know, methods, you know, certain colors don't go with another color, like red and green don't go together. I found something that said black and brown don't go together. And I just, I just laughed because knowing me, I would look up the um, color combinations that are not supposed to go together and use those colors just because. 